Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I've got Milo with me. We're going to be working on Milo soon. Now, Milo is a little dog, and a lot of little dogs learn very early on that it can get them a lot of things. It can get them attention, affection, food. Um, but today we want to go ahead and get Milo on verbal sit at our command. So what I'm going to do is just warm up. I'm just going to toss a treat. Milo! Get his attention. Milo, sit. Yes. And I'm going to be treating multiple times to imply a stay. Now he got out of that, so I'm just going to put him back in. Milo, sit. Yes. But I'm going to treat multiple times to imply a stay. And what that means is that it just prevents the dog, okay, from running off as soon as he gets the treat. It keeps him there just a little bit longer for us to decide either to give him another command or to release him. So I'm just going to toss a treat and do that one more time. Milo, sit. Yes. And you see Milo's getting up. All I'm doing is just resetting when he does that. Milo, sit. I can see he's getting a little frustrated. That's okay. We can get that one more time. It's okay if Milo starts barking at some point. It's just a sign that he's a little frustrated. And all we do is just wait him out whenever he does that. Milo, sit. Yes. So again, I'm treating really fast just because he is a puppy. Okay. And to release, just tap on the head and say, okay. Milo's doing very good. I was some really a fan of that practice session. You see, he does tend to bark a little bit when he does get frustrated, but that only means that he's learning exactly what we're doing. And even though his focus is very little, that just means I gotta treat a little faster. So if he's ever at home and tends to get a little distracted, you just gotta treat a little faster. But that was really good for Milo, very happy with that practice session. And ideally, the next time we do this, I'll be standing, but very good today. Good job, buddy. Good job.